If you are tired of being bombarded by random text messages from random numbers, this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to stop spam messages on iPhones and Androids in a few simple steps. Let's get started. Now, when someone comes to me and asks me, how do I stop spam text messages? The first thing I wanna tell them is do not interact with these spam text messages. Scammers use these text messages as just another way to try to hack you or get your personal information. They might've sent you a link. They might've asked you to send them Bitcoin. These scammers are out to get you. That is why it is so crucial for you to follow these next steps so we can take action in protecting ourselves against these messages. Messages. Okay, so let's first talk about Androids. Locking spam text messages on Androids is easy. Here's how you can do it. The first thing is open your messages app. Find the text message from the number that looks suspicious or one that you don't recognize and you suspect it is spam or a hacker trying to lure you in. Tap the three dots in the top right corner of that text message. We're then going to block this number. It's really important to do this because obviously the scammer can just keep texting you and a way to stop them from texting you is obviously blocking them. After we do that, we're then going to report this text message as spam. So you're gonna send it to 7726. Usually when you're being sent spammy text messages, there's usually a pattern that most of these text messages fall on. Like they just keep saying, hey, my name is Roisin. Hey Roisin, hi Roisin, what's up Roisin? Or spam text messages if they're not saying hey or hi it's like click this link or you just want a free ipad usually they form a pattern so once you start sending these messages and these numbers to that 7726 number the carrier will pick up on that notice the pattern the number of spammy text messages that you get Alrighty, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to enable spam protection so what you're going to do is open your messages app again go to settings and then look for spam protection and turn it on this will filter out all potential spam. Now, if you're using Google Messaging, this has even better spam capability. I always recommend to people use Gmail, use Google Messaging. Google is pretty good at keeping the hackers and the spammers out. RoboKiller is another great app that Android users can install in order to help block spam text messages. So this app will basically help you on top of Android's protections to filter out these annoying spam messages that you're receiving. Another recommendation to prevent spam from happening in the first place is if you go on a website and they ask you to put in your number, put in a fake number. So by fake number, I mean like Google Voice. You can create free numbers from Google Voice that you can use to put in these text boxes that ask for your number. So a big reason that you are being scammed is that when you put your number into these text boxes, you know, when you sign up for websites or you sign up for surveys, personal information that you're putting in there is being scraped up by data brokers. So if you use a fake number, all those spammy, scammy text messages are going to be sent to that fake number that you provided, not your actual one. So that is just something I recommend in the future. Okay, let's move on to our iPhone users. Stopping spam on iPhones is pretty similar to what we just did on an Android. Okay, so go to your messages app, find that scammy, spammy text message. Tap the contacts little icon. Scroll down and tap info. Tap block this caller. We're then blocking any potential spam text messages from this phone number. For even more protection, protection when it comes to filtering out spam on an iPhone, there is a setting called filter on no messages. Go to your settings, then messages, and click on that button that says filter unknown senders. So another thing that I would do is I would download an app specifically for spam filtering. Bouncer app is a very good app for this. Uh, they are not sponsoring this video, but I have really good things to say about them. What Bouncer does is it filters out text messages based on known signatures. So this is like a cybersecurity term, but signatures is basically like known patterns of attack. Because typically you'll get a lot of spam text messages that are politically focused or on weight loss, on an Ozempic, I don't know. There's a lot of spam text messages that are from these categories. Now, just like on Androids, you can also send spam text messages to this 7726 number. If you keep sending spammy text messages to this number, 
your phone carrier will pick up on this and automatically block text messages that follow a similar pattern to the messages that you are reporting to them. So now that we've blocked the spam text messages, let's just go over a few quick tips to make sure that this doesn't happen to you again. If you're inputting your phone number on websites, make sure you get a Google Voice number so all of those text messages will be sent to that number and you can reduce the amount of spam on your regular phone number. As I described, your phone number could be taken by data brokers who then sell your information to scammers, spammers, and the alike. Also, do not click on suspicious links. Clicking on these suspicious links will send you to a web page that is going to ask you for personal information or it could possibly download some nasty malware onto your device. Alrighty guys, that's it. And now you are equipped with how to stop and prevent spam text messages on Androids as well as on iPhones. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more cybersecurity and tech tips. If you have any questions or additional tips, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching and I hope you stay safe. By the way, if you are new to my channel or you're returning hello, my name is Roisin Coleman. And I create tips and videos on how to safeguard yourself on social media, your mobile device, as well as general cybersecurity tips. So if you like this content, please make sure to like and subscribe. So on Google Messaging, if you go to your messages, you can also go to the settings and turn spam protection on from there.